Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the Scarecrow channel. I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update on the go-kart that I'm building. Let's take a look. Alright, so it's been a few weeks and this is what I have so far so built it up a little bit mostly what I've been working on is the front so last you saw I had the uh, spindles here both sides made and, but I didn't like uh, the way they actually turned out they're a little bit too thin and too small for the size of tires and bolts that I had here so I actually reinforced it. I went to two inch by a quarter versus the one inch I had and this used to be a five eighths bolt so now it's a half actually inch bolt and that allowed me to find a better uh, DOM tubing here to be able to attach to to the one one half bolt here so there's no more play here there's no more play here like like you saw before. Also, I went three quarter inch stub axle here, so it's just a bolt, three quarter inch by six inches. So it it actually is perfect for this size of tire because this is a, a three quarter inch tire. So I've also put a DOM tubing here, three quarter inch there, and I've made the steering work now as well. So I also build up this front bumper here with the supports. I put in my my uh, steering column and and handlebars here. So let's take a look. I'll just show you how this works. So pretty much churns perfect now. So the tie rods, I'm not sure what they came off of, uh, maybe a skidoo or something here. But they're the, I don't know what you call them, but they have like a bolt joint here so that you can actually move it up and down. You can move the whole suspension up and down and these will pivot as as you move so they're very nice they're also adjustable on both ends as you can see they're they're threaded on both ends and I had to weld uh, make it a little bit longer on this side I didn't have a custom one so I had to build one so we have uh, just welded this together so even though it's a little bit crooked here, it doesn't really matter because again, these are pivoting, so it'll help support that. On this side as well, they think to start with, they're like a foot long, so this one's about six inches now. And nice thing about it again, that it's, there's a screw on both ends and I can adjust them to whatever I want. And I also have the, the plate back here for the, um, steering so this came of a came out of a skidoo as well so as uh, you move them the steering it moves so I've welded that plate onto this DOM tubing here that's attached uh, to this bolt here so and then the shocks I uh, might have to get a little bit better springs yet seat kind of moves a little bit too much but so I might I might uh, get a little bit better springs for that as well and here in the middle so this this is off of an old skidoo and came with this plate the holes are already drilled so that was not a problem so the issue was how do I secure this steering wheel to the frame and what I did is I have this kind of like a U bracket here so I bolted that down that kept it from coming out now I had to stop it from going up and down so I took this uh, three quarter three quarter inch 
washer inner diameter I think and I just cut it in half and I used half of it to weld it up here and I just welded it to the actual steering rod here and then same with the bottom I welded that and now it can't move up and down so and then down here I've also made a bit of a some scrap metal I had build a bit of a V here just to kind of let that bar sit in there and then uh, it can't go left or right here on the bottom as well so that's kind of how I did that part and of course I have my have my caster here still which is uh, five degrees or so I have my I believe it's called Ackerman right here so it's so if you look this plate here is not doesn't go straight out it actually pivots sideways a little bit and what you want to do is when you're building this is you want to align it with the center of the back of your go-kart and you want to do that for both sides and that way it allows for better steering so you want to do that for for both sides here you want to align it to go to the middle of the back here Yeah, so it's coming along. Steering's pretty much all done now. So I got a good uh, good turning angle here for both sides. It's nice and straight. And with these tie rods, it allows me to adjust left or right here so I can, if it ever gets uh, misaligned, I can always do that as well. So the next thing probably I'll be working on is the back end here again so now that I'm done the the steering and the front and everything I'll be working in the back here and getting the tires on here getting them actually connected properly to the back axle and then I'll be welding my sprocket onto the hub positioning all of my uh, my brakes in the sprocket here where I actually need them and I will be mounting the engine next, getting a chain because I don't have that yet. I believe it's a 40 pitch chain. So I'll be doing that shortly and then I will show you kind of what that looks like. And if you're wondering, you might have seen my other videos. I did get a new welder from Harbert Freight, Chicago Electric. This is a 220 amp MIG and a flux core welder. If you, have seen, if you haven't seen my unboxing uh, of this guy, uh, take a look at it down here. Uh, I just, you know, you can see what this guy's all about. I also will be doing a review on it a little bit later as well. But anyway, just wanted to give you a quick update on this guy. It's been a lot of fun here. I'm getting to the meat and potatoes of the whole thing here, so getting uh, getting a lot done here. Uh, as soon as I get the engine on here, you know, it'll all start coming together, so. And then, uh, you know, we can we can do the final touches here, so. Alright, well, I believe uh, that's probably going to be it for this video. If you have any comments or questions, let me know down below. And I will be responding to all comments made, so if you have anything you want to say or comment or ask, I will be answering all the comments, so. Feel free to do that. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. And subscribe so you can see the latest videos coming out. Okay, well, I believe that is it for my time, and I do thank you for yours. Have a good one. Bye.